Hello fellas, uh, Gav here with a, another update. It's been a while, um, but that's mainly due to, to you know, just doing bits and pieces on commissions that I've uh, not always been in a position to show. Um, and with this uh, summer cold that's been going around, that seems to be wiped half the uh, half the crew out on uh, tabletop commanders. Um, we've had to have a few days of. Uh, stopping work. Anyway, uh, here we go with a, another AB review. Uh, these are um, 15 stroke 18 millimeter AB Napoleonics. These are Russian Carassier or Carassiers um, and they are the Little Russia Regiment. So they've got uh, darkish green facings. They're riding um, Dark bays, dark chestnut mounts, a couple of light chestnuts will be in the next batch I'm doing. Um, that's because the Russians, unless they were in their actual lifeguards, weren't particularly fussy on uh, on what colour mounts that they actually rode. So if they weren't fussy, neither's Gav. So myself and the clients have agreed that uh, there'll be a mix of uh, darkish colours. So there you go, that's the first six. If I can get into shot here. Here are two command bases that I'll be putting on eBay in the next few days. And these are um, Dutch Napoleonics. Um, the figure on the left is General Major General D Rebe Q. I do apologise to everyone out there who can spell it better than me, but my notes run to one side and I can't reach them. Um, and then uh, on the right is the famous uh, Prince of Orange and uh, I believe that's the pose of him waving his hat on that, uh, that they use at Quatre Bois um, in the Hundred Days campaign. The figure on his right is a mounted guide uh, which uh, tended to carry dispatches around the, uh, the battlefield. And the figure on the general's left, that's an aide de camp, obviously giving him a, an order or a note. Then behind I've got two French generals and their ADCs. Their ADCs are cavalry as you can see. Simple tufts, a few stones, um, and a, a dead. I put a dead Russian casualty on there, um, just for effect, really. Uh, again, AB 15 stroke 18 mil, and then last but not least, my old favourites. Uh, this is for me. This one. This is a. Uh, this must have taken six to eight weeks to do just because of uh, painting commitments. I just stick one of my own bases on the side and when I get half an hour I put a bit of paint on them. So it can take it can take over a month just to get one base painted. Done it in a bit of arid colours because this is obviously for the uh, peninsula. Now this, sometimes I'll mix trouser colours and blanket colours up. But um, with these guys I've left them, these are the Grenadier Company as you can see by their white hackles. Um, I've just tried to. I haven't put obviously. Th this is sorry. This is the thirty eighth of foot. I should have said. Um, I haven't. Uh, I tried many attempts to actually write thirty eight in the little yellow dots, and they was just looking naff. So uh, I've just um, shown it's there, um, and I've left all the blankets the same colours. I just wanted to show a bit of the problem is when you try and show nonconformity and you know different, uh, you end up showing conformity if you know what I mean because it's like putting oh, two, two brown trousers in one each each company and two brown blankets or great coats and um, I like to shake it up a bit so my reason was this is a grenadier company it's supposed to be the best in the regiment so they've all got their nice shiny issue white canvas trousers on or linen trousers and uh, they've all got the same rolls on the back that's the way Gav sees it anyway. 
So thanks for stopping by and taking a look. I'm sorry it's been a bit of a ramble, but as usual, it's a one take, no edit <laughs> shot. So. so there you go. Thanks for indulging me. Thanks for your time. And uh, I'll catch you again soon. Cheers.